Hello, today we're going to talk about indexing your backlinks. Now some people might be wondering why would you bother even indexing your backlinks and it's really quite simple and it's a common misconception that people have about backlinks and they think it's how many backlinks that you build is going to improve your rankings in the search engines but it's not really that at all it's how many links that you've got indexed in the search engine so for example if you go and build 20,000 backlinks to your site and only 500 of them ever get found and indexed then you still only have 500 links pointing back at your site so there was no point in building the other 19 and a half thousand of them and I see it time and time again so many people just focusing on the amount of backlinks that they build and not worrying about getting their links indexed and this is a huge problem basically if the search engines like Google or Yahoo or Bing aren't indexing your links you're not getting any link love so they might not have indexed them because they thought that the content isn't good enough to be indexed maybe they never found the page maybe the bots have never crawled the page before and so they simply don't know about the page but either way the strategies that we're going to cover here today will make sure that your links get indexed and we'll also cover how to boost the power of each backlink that's pointing back to your site as well so we've got cost of links go up there obviously if you build 20,000 backlinks and only 500 get indexed you can basically multiply the cost of your links by 40. So for clear example sake, let's just say you get 100 backlinks to your site and each one of those backlinks cost $1. If only 10% of those links get indexed, so 10 links, the same 10 links have now cost you $10 each instead of $1 each because they're not indexed. But with a little extra know-how and a little more work, you can make sure that all your links get indexed and then your cost per link drops back down to one dollar per link but how? by now most people know that WordPress is an amazing tool super super powerful and you can do so much with it and so the technique that we'll be sharing today is based around WordPress and you're going to want to have your sites using WordPress we're also going to use the pingbacks that we get from article directories Web 2.0, blog networks, link wheels and other places that are linking back to you. We're also going to use RSS feeds and social bookmarking to make sure that your properties or pages that are pointing back to your site are getting indexed and giving your site a lot more love. Okay, so we've said that we need to have WordPress installed and we need to be using WordPress as our main platform for this technique to work. And so a great little plugin that I like to use is called indexing plugin and also track back feed plugin. So why don't we go over and have a little look how these work. Okay, so we're over at our WordPress site here and if you see our uh, if we go to our comments here, we'll see all the pingbacks and trackbacks that are coming back to our WordPress site. Now they're all listed here. Okay, so remember how I said that a lot of links don't get indexed. So what we might do is just do a test here. Um, if we copy our link that's pointing back to us and we'll go have a look at Google, put it in inverted commas and do a search. So there you can see that that's not indexed. Try another one. drop our URL in and that one's not indexed either so if Google is not aware that these links are out there then we're not going to get any love back from Google and if we're not getting any love back from Google then we're not going to rank in the search engines very well so this great little um, plugin I'm going to show you is the um, track back feed plugin so all you do is you simply install it on your WordPress site here it is here, trackback feed plugin. There's no settings for it in here at all. Um, all you simply do is you get your domain and you add trackback feed to the end of it and you'll see there's an RSS feed there. And the RSS feed is full of all your 
pingbacks and trackbacks. Now for those of you that know anything about RSS feeds, this is super powerful. So why don't we just do a quick test. Um, we'll grab our domain. Paste it in there. We'll grab trackback feed. And we'll go and check out our RSS feed of all our pingbacks. Okay, so here you go. We can see um, all our pingbacks here. So these are all the sites that are linking back to us. But a lot of them aren't indexed yet. So that's step one, is installing the trackback feed plugin. Now you get that when you purchase the indexing plugin um, from this site over here. It's just indexingplugin.com. And so when you buy the indexing plugin, you get the trackback feed plugin as well. Now, here's an example that I've got set up on another site. And the reason I'm doing this is because I don't want to create a footprint. It's okay to do if you're just using a small amount of, uh, if you've just got a small amount of pingbacks coming back to your site. But when you've got a lot of uh, pingbacks coming in and a heap of links coming in all at once, then you might want to take your trackback feed and put it on a different site. So what I've done here is I've taken that trackback feed from the cosmetic site and I've mixed it in with a bunch of other feeds and I've imported it into the indexing plugin on a different site. And so basically what this plugin does, it's very simple to use. You just take your feed that's got all your pingbacks, so all the sites that are linking back to you, and you drop it in the plugin once you've activated it. What this setting does here, it's how many links display on your post and so this will link back to all the links that are linking to you. Now you might think well that's just a reciprocal link. Yes it is for a short period of time because what this plugin does is it consistently checks and that's what this point is here, it checks every 10 minutes to see if the page that it's linking to is indexed. And so if we go and have a look at our site here now, okay, so you can see here other articles you might like. That's our title in here, other articles you might like. Now I've got this set up as just a indexing site. It doesn't really do a lot. It's on auto feed, so it's constantly getting posts automatically, and it's just a bit of a rubbishy site. But so, see these are my eZine articles and they're the ones that are linking back to the cosmetic site. So I've got a hundred appearing here. And so what happens is this is at the bottom of every post. And you can set that to as many or as few as you want. You can set it to posts or pages. And so what it will do is once this eZine article is indexed, it will remove this link automatically and it will replace it with a different one. And then once this one's indexed, it'll remove this and it'll replace it with a different one. And it'll just continually keep updating this list of links that are pointing back to your site. And so they're all just slowly getting indexed one by one. Okay, so if we scroll down here, you can see these ones are waiting to be checked. And you can see how many feeds I've got jammed in there. So that'll just continue. The more links that come back to the site, the more this feed updates and it just continually keeps checking if they're indexed. If they're not, then it leaves the link on the front of the site for the search engine bots to crawl through. And as you can see down here, these are our indexed ones. So this plugin does take a little while to kick off. You want to give it a week or two to really get moving, but after that, it starts indexing all your links really quickly. So as you can see here, these are all the links that we've got indexed already in just a week or so. And this is all on autopilot. All you do is set it up initially and then it just does its thing and make sure all your links get indexed. Now like I said, the small downside to this plugin is it does take a little while to get moving. So what you can do to speed up the process is take your trackback feed and then distribute it to a lot of other aggregators, so other feed aggregators, maybe things like FeedAg, Yahoo Pipes, FeedBurner, and a whole bunch of other feed directories. You can also take this feed and bookmark all these different links here just to be doubly sure that they're going to be indexed and they're going to stay indexed because not all pages that get indexed in the search engine stay indexed forever. 
that's what a lot of people don't realize is if they don't have any links pointing back to them and they're not very good quality they will get removed from the search engine sooner or later and so you really want to reinforce that by submitting it to all the RSS feed aggregators and there's hundreds and hundreds of them and also social bookmarking them all to make sure that your links stick around for a long time okay but what if you don't want to do all the social bookmarking and submitting the feeds we know yes it can take a bit of time to do and that's exactly why we've got I got link is to help you rank better and make it a lot easier on you so you don't need to be doing all this work yourself and spending hours and hours doing it so before this video you may or may not have realized that you have to get your links indexed for them to count and really help you boost your ranking and you might be surprised at how many of your links don't get indexed in some cases we've seen only 20 to 30 percent of links getting indexed so once again if you've got a hundred links only 20 or 30 of those links are actually being found and counting towards your search engine ranking so yes it is a little bit more work and possibly a little bit more of an investment but the thing is you're absolutely going to rank a lot better and a lot faster and your rankings are going to stick around longer if you just take the time to index your links pointing back at your site with the use of submitting feeds and social bookmarking. I hope this has been helpful and post your comments below.